welcome all of you to my YouTube channel, Animals and Pets with Park. Today I am going to talk to you about uh, Lhasa Apso. Uh, we have a very long heritage of having had uh, some brilliant Lhasa Apsos for many, many years. There was a time uh, that people uh, from all over the country feared to come to Calcutta with their uh, you know, prestigious uh, imports because uh, they were bred in India last episodes which would beat them in their final best in show. Uh, Darjeeling, which is a very big settlement of Tibetans, uh, has, has a Tibetan uh, pasty, Tibetan uh, uh, sort of uh, area, which uh, uh, they, uh, among themselves, they of course have their Lhasa Apsos. And uh, uh, in those days, earlier days, uh, there would be shipments of these Lhasa Apsos when I was a little child. They would be coming from Darjeeling uh, to Calcutta and they would get sold in the Hatibagan pet market. And anyone with, the, you know, small, this, uh, small furry dogs with hairs on their eye uh, were Apsos from Darjeeling. And um, uh, I remember uh, when I came to dog shows, uh, there was one Mr. Tapan Pramani who actually owned a dog uh, called Champion Rich. And uh, this dog uh, was a multi multi best in show winner, last app, so the golden uh, dog, uh, a sandy colored dog, and um, uh, he would uh, continuously uh, uh, win best in shows under all the judges whether foreign, Indian, you know, from wherever they were. And they all uh, inquired about the breeding of this dog. Well, uh, there was no, nothing behind this dog because it came from the uh, Tibetan settlements of Darjeeling. Well, uh, uh, in, the, uh, in recent times, of course, I have uh, decided to make a small uh, abode uh, in the lower Himalayas. Uh, the queen of uh, Himalayas, Darjeeling, and uh, uh, I have always been attracted to Lhasa Apsos. It was a lo um, uh, for a long part of my life, I have bred this wonderful, wonderful dog. <coughs> uh, this champion Ridge, after, champ after being influenced with champion Ridge, of course came a second dog which was called uh, uh, Champion um, uh, uh, Rusty View of Ruparena. Champion Rusty View of Ruparena was bred by uh, the legendary uh, dog handler, uh, Mr. Rupen Manja. He bred this uh, fantastic dog, which had 14 consecutive best in shows uh, in those days. And you must know in those days we hardly had one or maybe back-to-back uh, -back two shows. So uh, it must have taken, the dog must have won over uh, uh, five or six years continuously uh, consecutive best in show in the city of Calcutta. And uh, I started off in last episode and uh, not only uh, in 1989 I imported um, a dog called uh, El Zamara proud Aussie from Victoria. He was a beautiful golden dog and uh, he did some winning for me. Uh, after that I bred a lot of puppies out of him and then I continued with Das also for a long long time. Uh, in the, in the course of my breeding of Lhasa Apsos, I made many, many champions that actually went around the country and people knew me for being a breeder of great Apsos. Uh, well, uh, I had over many years sold 53 uh, Apsos uh, uh, to one uh, Mrs. Uh, Glenda Goji of uh, Bhutan. And uh, I was no, uh, he, she was one of the uh, uh, close relatives of the royalty of Bhutan. Uh, and later on I came to know that uh, she gave all these dogs away to her American friends. That was her, um, uh, that's where they, she came from. She was an American lady married to uh, the royal, the, the religion of the royalty of Bhutan. And 
So uh, I have also given uh, a lot of apples to celebrities in this country. Um, uh, even um, uh, so I would not like to mention all of them, uh, though they would be interesting names though. But uh, uh, many celebrities did buy last episodes from me. And um, now what I mean, what I, uh, uh, what I want to actually tell you is Darjeeling, which was once the place where that actually Champion Ridge came from. That is a puppy that came to Calcutta uh, in the pet market. And the person who uh, sold that was Mr. Moroy Roy, who used to bring loads of these episodes, and he sold one to Mr. Uh, Tapan Pramanik for a uh, uh, pal three rupees 300. The 300 rupees dog went multiple best in show under uh, judges from all across the world and beat some of the greatest winning imports that came in those days. The Darjeeling episodes have uh, lost the glory. We don't get those type of episodes that used to come in those days. But not that they don't have the stock. Uh, I would feel that if, uh, if they were properly guided or advised, they could again uh, uh, sort of uh, uh, regain the glory of the great episodes that the Tibetan settlements in Darjeeling were breeding in those earlier days. There is one Mr. Lasawan Zampa Tenzing, whom I saw some two, two years back just before the uh, pandemic. Uh, there was a dog show in Darjeeling and I happened to be, of course I was asked to judge in for the show, but I, uh, uh, for personal rounds, I, I actually don't judge nowadays. So uh, I was still around that area and I walked into that show. And there was this uh, Mr. Somran Mukherjee of Calcutta, who was one of the judge. And this Lhasa Apsos, uh, oh, Lapso owned by uh, Mr. Lhasawan Jampa Tenjing, uh, won best in job. That was a wonderful job. So, not that they don't have this job, but actually we need to focus on these uh, wonderful dogs that are still in Darjeeling and we need to bring them to the uh, forefront. So, uh, when I uh, which I have planned to make a small little um, board there. I would uh, concentrate my efforts to see that the uh, glory of the last apps of the Bajli, um is uh, brought back and we have many many great uh, Lhasa episodes uh, which uh, we have seen like Champion Ridge and also Champion Rusty View Rupa Reina whose um, uh, ancestors I'm sure must have gone back to uh, the, the last episodes of Darjeeling because in those days there were no the last episodes imposed to this country at all and I think I was one of the first persons to start importing last episodes in 1989 at the, from the Melbourne Royal Show where I had gone. Actually, it was a class winner. The champion El Samara Proud Aussie was the dog that I imported from um, uh, Mrs. Schulz of uh, Victoria, uh, the Samara Kennels, and they were very kind to give that beautiful dog to me. And later on, of course, I bought one more dog from them uh, some years later. And uh, uh, so that golden dog was a replica, uh, more or less very closely uh, resembles, uh, resembled the uh, champion uh, Ridge or uh, the champion Rusty View of Rupa Arena. So uh, the last episodes of uh, uh, those days were so great that nobody could beat them. But now of course things have changed and we have uh, uh, other dogs winning, uh, they are most, mostly all imported dogs, but in those days you would be proud and when the judges would say that this last episode could go anywhere in the world and win, we, it would actually make us so proud. But nowadays uh, we have imported dogs winning most of the best in shows in, and not only dogs, they come with their foreign handlers and of course as you know, uh, um, um, 
well, uh, we do breed some wonderful specimens, not only in Afghans, but in many other breeds. But they don't come to focus because mostly, as you know, the syndicate has manipulated all, all the shows and all the judges, and they only give it to uh, specific uh, dogs handled by specific persons and owned by specific persons. But anyway, things are bound to change, and we are looking forward to great days ahead, great dog, uh, dog shows ahead in India, and the, apps, the glory of the Apsos must be back again. Bye bye, and see you again. Do subscribe to my channel, uh, press the bell button so that you not you get you notified uh, every of my episodes, and then uh, like and share it. Uh, till my next episode. Good night, and see you again soon.